Hey guys, my name is Iana and I am Moxie Roller Skaters Graphic Designer. Today we are painting Rainbow Riders using Angelus Direct's acrylic leather paint. Rebel is painting her own version of the Rainbow Riders as well on her YouTube channel, Queer Girl Straight Skates. And we're gonna see how hers comes out versus mine. Now, I have a background in fine arts, but I am not a professional shoe customizer, skate customizer, or airbrusher. I have never airbrushed before, but I'm actually taking this opportunity to learn how to airbrush and figure it out. You're gonna see me make mistakes and wipe things away and mess up, but it's all part of the process and it still turns out pretty cool. <laughs> As you can see, I already took off the laces and the trucks off the skate. I just want as much space as I can to maneuver around the skate easily and I didn't want a lot of weight when I'm holding the skate and painting. The methods that I'll be using are things that I learned when watching other YouTubers who are shoe customizers and by reading up on Angelus Direct's Frequently Asked Questions page. That page is really informative because it tells you about other surfaces that you might be painting on. These boots are vinyl so the instructions that I'll be giving you are just for the Rainbow Rider. I recommend you guys do your own research if you're customizing something that is not a rainbow rider. Every skate has a different boot material, so it's best to sort of reference back to the skate company and see what the skate is made out of. To start off, I'm creating a rougher surface for the paint to stick on by sanding it. I didn't want it too rough, but enough so there's a grain to feel. Using the Angelus Leather Prepare and Deglazer, I removed all of the original paint from the skate. I taped off the liner so that I don't get any paint smudges on it. I'll already be taping off the skate a lot, so I used a rag instead of a bunch of paper towels to wipe off the paint just because I didn't want to create so much waste. Off camera, I painted on two coats of Angelus Too Hard Plastic Adhesion Promoter. This is the glossy texture that I'm painting white over. Just like sanding, it helps the paint stay on the skate better. Now I'm painting on the white and this takes several coats. Try to paint it on thin. As you can see, I sabotaged myself by being lazy and not taping off the soles, so I go back and scratch it off with a toothpick. That's one technique I watched a YouTuber use. You can also use a leather prepare and deglazer to erase mistakes, but be wary that it could rub away the sole if you use too much. To prevent that, I use a Q-tip so I don't soak the sole. I sanded down and repainted a few spots where the paint was laid on too thick.
I didn't really have a solid plan and I was like, hey, maybe I should add green into the rainbows. Wrong. I ended up really hating it. <laughs> I used a leather prepare and deglazer again to wipe off the green. Rather than painting in the white tediously, I just airbrushed over that spot in the areas that I sanded. I tape off one side and mixed a 4 to 1 ratio of paint to Angela's Too Thin. The Too Thin helps the paint run through the airbrush. With my new plan, I figured I would just go with the contour of the skate. One side is going to have a cool colored base with warm stripes and the other side is going to be a warm colored base with cool stripes. For my first layer, I used cool colors and painted both of the skates. When it dried, I started tediously taping in the new design. As you can see, I tried spraying on the orange. I found that it wasn't coming out as vibrant because of the blue right underneath it. I go back in with a layer of white so that the paint has a bright neutral base to start with. I then spray in a coat of warm colors. Tape peeling time! This is my favorite part. I noticed some mistakes and retaped the area to clean it up with the airbrush. I also go in with a super small brush to hand correct the mess ups. I then do the same process to the other skate. Now I'm working on the other side where I spray warm colors. I use a dark orange, a light orange, and a purple.
Just like I learned from the other side, I started painting a coat of white to prepare for another layer of color. Here are the skates without the backstay and tongue painted. I paint the backstay plain blue. Before I paint the tongue, I throw in the trucks and wheels so the skate can stand on its own. brush kept spitting out paint unevenly causing me to mess up a bit. I just wipe it away as flat as I can and try respraying. Thin layers are always better. I got pretty irritated and just fixed the tongue off camera. Either way, here they are. I switched up the laces so it would match the paint that I put on and here is the final product. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So on the outside is one color and on the other side is another color. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and the winner enjoys their new skates. Make sure to check out Rebel's video on Queer Girl Straight Skate's YouTube channel to see how she painted hers.